Every shot you're seeing was made entirely inside design using Google Rio 3.1 Fast. No cameras, no crew, just structured creativity. Cinematic AI video is everywhere right now, but real control is rare. Inside this video, I'll show you how to use Google VEO 3.1 Fast to create professional grade videos using JSON prompting. You'll see exactly how I structure my prompts, generate fast results, how I refine them until they look like high-end commercials, all without a film crew. Let's jump right in. JSON prompting isn't magic. It's a way to communicate with VEO 3.1 clearly. Think of it like giving your AI a director's script, what to show, how to move the camera, how to light the scene, and what feeling to capture. The difference is control. A plain prompt tells VEO 3.1 what to make. A JSON prompt tells it exactly what you want, the details, the camera movement, the lighting, everything it needs to create the exact vision that you want to bring to life. Meta, where's the closest Starbucks? The nearest Starbucks is 300 meters ahead. Turn right. You've arrived. If you'd like to follow along with this video and use the JSON prompt GPT I've created, check out school.com slash ACT for a community full of air creators like you. Pure water. Taste the origin. So step one in creating awesome adverts like the Ray-Ban adverts is getting your images of the Ray-Bans, first of all, and an image of the model that you want so you can have that consistent model throughout multiple generations of video all onto one page. And here we have the model I'm going to use for the Ray-Bans advert and the three different pictures of the Ray-Bans from the front, from the right-hand side, and from the left-hand side. And these are the Meta Ray-Bans. As you can see, the cameras are built into the front of the glasses there. Next, you'll take that into ChatGPT. And for me, I've created a cinematic JSON GPT, which you can find by searching this on the GPT store. But even if you don't use that, it's easy enough to do. Just find some example JSON prompts that have worked well, put them into a new project on ChatGPT, and then tell ChatGPT to help you create some JSON prompts and follow the next steps that I'll show you now. Okay, so all I said to ChatGPT is, I want to use the image I put on screen for the Ray-Bans along with the model that's on that image as well. And I want to create an advert for Ray-Bans. These are the ones that have the meta intelligence in them. So look up what all that involves, like the cameras, the speaker, the AI access. And I want to make an advert that's at least three clips long. VEO, three eight second clips. And we're going to use this image as the base for each of the clips. And we're going to go get these three clips so they follow in sequence and can be cut together to make a 24 second advert. Help me write the JSON prompts for that and I want each of these clips to probably have at least two shots. We'll probably start on a wide shot of him, like walking through the street confidently with a bit of swagger. The sun comes out, catches him in the eye, he pulls his ray pans out, puts them on and then he's looking for a coffee shop and he's like, ah, meta, where's the closest Starbucks? And then it tells him, you know, second left, two blocks up and on the right. And then something like a voiceover goes meta, ray bands, intelligence that sits on your face. So then the JSON prompt then helped me to make three JSON prompts that are going to be used with that image. And I had to ask that it to shorten the JSON prompts because with design, there's a limit for the VO 3.1 prompt box up to 1800 characters. And because ChatGPT often undercounts, I put 1650. So hopefully the new JSON prompts would then fit within the design prompt box. So then the next step is to go and copy your first clip that you have here and then jump in to design. So here we are in design and we go to AI video. And if you've been in design before, things have just moved around a little bit. They've updated the interface here, but you'll want to choose Google VO 3.1 fast and then choose your starting image, which in this case I have on the canvas already. So I can just select it like that. You could use end frame as well if you wanted to do a start and end frame sequence which we may do in another example in this video. And then sound on, make sure you have sound on, it's sound off as default. And of course you're gonna want sound on most of the time when generating these sort of things. So then I'm gonna paste my prompt in there and it's coming up at 1,283. So well within the prompt limit and I'm gonna click generate. Then I'm gonna do the same for the next two clips as well. So I click copy 
and then I go back in, it's going to be exactly the same image as a starting reference. Click generate. So you can have up to three videos generating at a time within design and you can see all three of those videos are generating right now here on the right hand side of the desktop. Meta, where's the closest Starbucks? The nearest Starbucks is 300 meters ahead. Turn right. You've arrived. Professionals never settle for average. They look for perfection. And that's why it's important to try different types of camera settings, different types of feel. So I'm gonna try an anamorphic camera lens here with a handheld kind of feel on that same Ray-Ban advert and see how that comes out. So here I've prompted already for a different kind of prompt and the same image we're starting with and we'll see how that style is affected. The moment Clarity meets intelligence. For the second example here, we're gonna do a start and end frame with Google VO3 Fast. And the first place we're gonna start here is with my GPT, which you could also, like I said, train your own GPT or your own project just by putting in some JSON examples. And that's pretty much all this is. So I'm gonna add in a couple of images that I've got here of luxury retreats, a summer retreat and a winter retreat. And I'm gonna ask ChatGPT now. Let's use the summer retreat picture here as a start frame and the winter retreat as an end frame. We're gonna be using Google VO3 Fast. Generate this and I wanna create a advert for luxury retreats from the summer sun to the winter fireplace. Take a break and enjoy peace and relaxation with luxury breaks. Remember this is only eight seconds long. So let's generate this with time codes this all the speaking everything fits within that very short clip so now this gpt is going to look at what i've requested and then come up with a json prompt to fit that so here we are referee reference images and it's creating time code like i asked for description but it's saying zero to two minutes so when chat gpt gives you something that's wrong like this says here you're absolutely right sometimes it makes mistakes so now it's adjusting those time codes to fit. So yes, zero to two seconds, golden villa, summer villa by the sea, calm waves and palm shadows move into slow rhythm. Camera drifts past flowing linen curtains and a glass of wine catching sunlight. Two seconds to four seconds, soft golden flare transitions through light and air, warmth fading into the cool crystal tones as snowflakes replace sunbeams. Four to six seconds reveal an alpine chalet glowing in snowfall, pine trees shimmering, smoke rising gently from the chimney. Zero six to, zero to eight seconds, camera glides inside to a roaring fireplace, soft focus on glowing embers and two silhouettes relaxing, voiceover from the summer sun to the winter fireplace, luxury retreats. I think this is like the overview of the video and then further down you just have all the other details like the style of the video, cinematic, elegant, emotional realism with a warm to cool seasonal contrast. And then you have camera like smooth dolly through the villa and explains all the camera movements that are gonna take place, the lighting, the location, the elements, the motion, the ending, the audio, a gentle piano, ambient sea breeze blending into soft wind and crackling fire, calm female voiceover. So we jump into design and this time we're going to clear the prompts that we have from before. And we're going to choose the start frame, which is the summer sun luxury retreat one. And then for the end frame, we're going to choose the winter retreat one and then paste that again. And now it has, so 1,674 characters. V 3.1 fast, sound on, eight seconds. And we'll do this at 1080 and eight seconds and click generate. From summer sun to winter fireplace, luxury retreats, your escape to peace and perfection. Wow, now you know how to use Google VEO 3.1 fast using JSON prompts like a professional. Make sure, to jump in to design and share with us all your ideas for creating incredible videos. And if you want more tips and tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date. And I'll see you in the next one.